Hello and welcome to our today's uh, tutorial. My name is Michael Kaiser, Director of Product Management at Cutrail Solutions. And today we have a very interesting topic for our webinar. We are talking about professional installation, how to install in a simple and reliable way RFID systems. A lot of different applications for IoT for RFID will be on installed day by day. So you have to connect the readers, you have to connect the antennas, you have to mount the, the devices, you have to supply the devices. And this is our topic for today, how to do this in a perfect way. And here's a good news for you, because Catrine deliver besides the RFID products, besides the readers and antennas, also the perfect uh, accessories. So have a look to a standard uh, installation. This is a gate installation. You see here the four antennas and our partner has here um, built up the system with profiles. And you see in the marked areas, there are the mounting kits, there are the cables, there are the connecting parts. And we will guide you, or I will guide you through this webinar to teach you what is the best option for you. Let's start with the mounting kits. You see, we have a lot of different mounting kits for different purposes. And with the name and with the in, uh, information, you can see which, inf uh, which mounting kits uh, fits perfect for which application. And I will guide you to select the right one. So let's start with the most universal one. This is the mounting kit with the ordering number 520-10351. This is the mounting kit for uh, wall mount. You can connect nearly all the Catrine devices, all the Catrine readers, all the Catrine antenna to this. We have a uh, dimension for the mounting kit of 100 by 100 millimeter, which I show you later. So when you get this device, you see here, we have the mounting kit. We have four screws to mount the mounting kit to the Catrine product. We have a small bag where you can find uh, additional information with a QR code to learn how to install this uh, mounting kit in the right way. First of all, remove this mounting plate. This mounting plate will be fixed to the product and the second part of the mounting kit will be fixed to the wall. For this, please open these four screws. With the mounting kit, uh, with the mounting plate on the left side, mounted on the back side of the product. So in our case, we have used an RFID reader, but with uh, any antenna, with any device, you can do it in the same way. Please take care that this um, mounting plate is mounted in this way that the openings are pointing downwards. On the other side, you see the mounting kit uh, fixed on the wall. So please select the right mounting uh, material for uh, concrete walls or for wooden walls or what else to mount it in the right way. Also be very careful because you have to check is there any um, electricity line or a water line in the back of the of the wall to be protected against drilling. Okay, when you have mounted the uh, mounting kit in the right way, please be sure that this um, these four screws are loosened. Don't uh, tighten it to uh, fix because you have to uh, use it for the mounting. So in the next slide, you see how to connect this uh, mounting plate with the um, with a, a mounting kit. So um, with these openings, you can hang it in, and then in the second step, you can fix it. So one person can do it by alone to fix it in the right way. When it's fixed, you can uh, use these screws, two on the left, uh, two on the uh, one on the left and the right, two uh, on the up and down edge to uh, fix this mounting kit. So when you want to turn it left to right, please open the screws on the top and the bottom. If you want to turn it up and down, please do it with the two screws on the side. Here you have a few of the mounting kit itself. On the left, you see the footprint for the wall mounting. So you see how you can fix it, how you can set up your drilling to find the right proper way to do so. In the middle, you see the mounting kit itself with the possibility of controlling two uh, levels up and down and left and right. If you want to mount this mounting kit for the wall mount, 
to a pole, please add this uh, additional mounting kit with the ordering number 520-10360. And then you can mount any cutrine device, any cutrine reader, any cutrine antenna to the pole. So here you see all the different mounting kits we offer. This uh, 351 and 360, which I uh, showed before, is the most universal standard uh, mounting kit for the cutrine devices, but um, especially for outdoor use. But we have also a device for the indoor use where we have the same footprint of 10 by 10 centimeters, 100 by 100 millimeters, which is common for all the cutrine devices. If you have the need, for additional uh, absorption of shock vibration or if you have some some liquids uh, around this installation or some chemicals we would recommend to, to take this stainless steel um, um, mounting kit for the outdoors this 351 which because this is more reliable this is more robust against this uh, requirements if you have to mount the a 40 degree antenna we recommend to take this mounting kit we have uh, again the 100 by 100 mounting option but um, for the wire 40 antenna for this wide range antenna we have a big dimension of the antenna and this means we have also a high wind uh, wind load this means you need a lot of um, power to fix it and for this this uh, 262 uh, mounting option is the best way so if you use uh, this antenna we would recommend to, to take this uh, mounting kit also to fix it for the aru 2400 reader for the 60 and 70 degree antennas we have also the, the option to mount this in the shelves this shelf mounting kit with the ordering number 520 10 479 you can use either for a shelf or also for profile mounting here are some mounting kits for the connection box. In one of my last videos, I have shown you uh, um, how to handle these connecting boxes, what are the features of the connecting boxes, how to connect the uh, connection boxes. If you are interested in this, please have a look at this video. Today, we're talking about the mounting option. And with the next slide, you see here the connection box on the left. This is a big one, the advanced one, where we have, you see in the middle, the power supply. We have the defined switch to switch off the unit. And we have this um, uh, area, this field, how to connect the GPIOs to the sensors and actors. In the standard case, this mounting kit, uh, mounting box, this connection box will be mounted with these four holes. You screw it directly on the wall. But sometimes if you want to uh, use a profile uh, installation or you want to use um, in a symmetrical way, then you can use these four holes to mount this mounting plate 662 for the advanced box or 663 for the basic box in this way all the material to mount this um, um, mounting kit is included when we come from the connection box connecting cable is the next step how to connect the reader for power supply for the connection to the ethernet for the connection to the sensoric and um, and um, actors so in this case, we have a lot of uh, options which I'll show you with the next slides. So have a look for all the readers with the M12 connectors. These are typical ARU 3000, ARU 8000 readers or RU 4000 readers in different uh, types and different version. And here you see we have the option for the DC cabling on the one side, on the one end of the reader side, say the M12 connector. And on the other side, we have open ends. If you have a distance between 3 and 10 meters, then please order the cable 520-10-350 because this is the right option for this length and you can cut it belonging uh, according to your, um, to your um, dimension, to your application. If it's smaller or up to 3 meters, we recommend to take 520-10-359 cable which gives you the option on the one side for the M12 to connect the TC supply, and on the other side, you can connect the power supply unit within the next three meters. For the Ethernet cable, again, on the reader side, we have M12, and on the other side, we have a RJ45 um, connector. You can uh, use it for your network plug, you can use it for a switcher or a router, and um, connect it to your device. Here we have also the 10 meter version, which is uh, 520 10 360. 
or we have the three meter version, which is 520, 10, 361. If your Ethernet, if your internet uh, equipment is also um, um, supplying power, you can use this cable also for power over Ethernet to supply the unit also with power. Finally, we have this GPIO cable. GPIO stands for Channel and Purpose Input and Output, where we can connect the inputs and outputs to sensors and actors in your application. This cable again, we have an M12 uh, socket, M12 connector on the reader side to be uh, very uh, um, safe and secure on this side. And on the other side, we have open ends to cut it for, uh, for the right length. The 362, is for the 10 meter cable, so the 363 for the 3 meter cable. For the antenna cable, we have also five options. A new one is a 1.5 meter cable, you see with the order number 520, 10, 694. And the 3, 6, 10, 15 meter cables, maybe you know already from the past, are cables which we have to connect the readers to the antenna. This is a TNC to TNC reverse connector. Reverse is on the reader side. You see here also the cable is marked as a reader. And the TNC side for the antenna looks similar as the same with this um, cable. That's why be careful to, to catch the right side. And that's why we have added this um, reader or antenna marking to know exactly I'm um, the reader is connected in the right way. In the right way. In case of you have to use the reader outdoors, the installation is outdoors, please be sure that not used connectors, uh, sockets are protected. So when you have the uh, cut line antenna cables, when you have the cut line connecting cables, um, everything is fine, everything uh, is, is connected. So if all the sockets are used with cut line devices or the cut line cables and then connector cap connecting cables, um, everything is fine. But if you have a typical application where you have only two antennas or you don't use a GPIOs, then we recommend the use of protecting cable. Because the point is so that moisture can also penetrate if sockets are not closed. Yeah. So for example, the reader heats up uh, because of sunlight or sunshine during the day, and then a rain shower arrives and uh, this causes neg negative pressure in the inside of the device. This means um, moisture can come inside to the reader via the connectors. And this can lead to malfunctions and to failures. That's why we recommend to use this protective uh, caps for all installation outsource. So the ordering number for this protective caps is 520-10-376. In some case, it's necessary to protect the devices against uh, unscrewing. Yeah, sometimes people passing passing by and 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 remove or loosen the cable, and then this can uh, cause uh, some some errors, some problems. For this, we have this vandalism protection uh, protective cover. So first of all, feed in the cable through the holes, connect to the reader. Maybe use some protective caps for unused um, sockets, and then you see these openings where you place in the. Uh, the protective cover, you see the red uh, arrows to, to connect this and then screw the four screws and then nobody can really touch these cables any longer and can remove it. So if you want to protect this, please use the vandalism protection cover with the ordering number 520-10-367. For the power supply of this M12 um, connected readers, uh, ARU 3000 family, ARU 8000 family, or RU 4000 family, we have three options. First op option is a standard AC DC adapter where you convert 230 volts AC to 24 volt DC. Here, this, um, this power supply, which you see in the first line, is for the lab or for testing. Yeah. This uh, has an order number 520-10364. Please be aware that we don't supply an AC cable with this. You have to buy it separately because um, every country has a different uh, socket for this AC supply and that's why you can uh, use your local ones. For the use in the field, we recommend such a DIN rail power supply unit also a converter and adapter from 230 volts 
uh, AC to 24 volts DC. If you use this part from Cutrine with the ordering number 520-10366, please be aware you have to use also the connecting cable, either the 10 meter 520-10350, F358, or the 3 meters 359. Or you can use our connecting box. The connecting box basic is uh, the pure power supply unit. You see also here the switch where you can switch off the device um, on, on a certain point. And with the basic ver version, we have also a converter from 230 volt to 24 volt. Yeah, and so, so you can, can connect this also again with a DC cable 520-10358 for the 10 meter version and 359 for the three meter version. If you have to connect uh, our uh, X400 readers, this means the RRU1400 or the ARU2400, then we have also several options, which I will show now. So for the DC supply, you can use this uh, printed board connector for the two wires. Any voltage between 10 and 30 volts, which you have maybe on site, you can use to supply the device. Or you can use our DC power supply unit. It's also a converter from 230 volts AC to, um, to uh, 24 volt DC with the ordering number 520-10474. Or of course you can use our connection box as similar as is shown in the picture before. For the Ethernet connection, we have standard RJ45 connector, which you can use as standard network cable to connect the reader to a, um, outdoor, um, a network plug or to an, uh, a router or a switch. If again, your device or your system, your internet system, your network is able to supply power over ethernet, you can use all those this to supply the device to run the power. Then you can remove the power uh, connection also. For the GPIOs, and in this case, we have two inputs and two outputs. You can use this uh, block, which you see here in green. You can connect the, um, um, the sensors, the actors, for example, the light barriers, what, what else uh, you, can, you have to connect, and then screw this block to the reader and everything is fine installed. Yeah, so this is an easy and simple way to do so. For the antenna cable, we have a so-called FACRA connector, which is well known for an automotive. It's a very robust um, um, and easy to handle connector because you don't have to screw the cables. It's, it's enough to click in. There's a mechanism to, to, um, to connect. And you hear it with a click that it's connected well, and then you can handle this. For the ARU 2400, as you see in this picture, we have three connectors. The RU 1400, we have uh, four connectors. And by the way, if you have to lose this cable again, it's quite simple. On the back of the um, socket, you see a small area when you press with your finger on this area, the um, uh, mechanic, uh, mechanic will be loosened and then you can uh, remove the cable uh, very simple, very easy. So we have seen with the Cutrine accessories, you can handle this um, installation in a quite easy and simple way. You have a stable and robust installation, always the same installation steps, uh, simplifying the mountings. This means in advance, you can you know exactly how many time you have to spend on this, how to many time you do on this. And uh, this is very helpful. The universal suitable devices you can use for a lot of Cutrine products, as I said, for this installation, for this mounting kit, you can do it very easy. Many connecting cables can be shortened uh, for the different lengths uh, because of the open ends. And we uh, reach the highest demands with stainless steel design for long-term stability. So easier handling thanks to practical, practical accessories. So I hope you have enjoyed this webinar. I've, I hope you have seen some new things. Would be nice if you give me a feedback on this. If you have questions, please use our ticketing system. Many thanks for your uh, attention and have a good time. See you soon. Bye-bye.